Yeah, I guess it's one of the most important topics for the financial industry overall right now. It's um, cybersecurity. So maybe to start off with, how vulnerable is the financial industry to cyber attacks? Well, we've seen many attacks actually shifted from credit card data fraud to ACH fraud. The ACH is really when you're trying to fill your Google Wallet, your Apple Pay, uh, your Android Pay, and those are the wallets that are really are filled with micropayments. The aggregation is where the attackers are really attacking the systems and pulling real money from the system. Let's say you have a bank robber. Usually the, the success rate of the police to catch those guys is pretty high. How high is the success rate with cybersecurity? <laughs> Oh, it's very low. I would say you got like maybe less than 5% mm -hmm. on a worldwide. And I think we also wrongly promote ideas in society that hacking is good. I mean, you will have so many movies about how hacking can help. And, uh, and uh, it's just not enough uh, momentum have been created that will literally somehow regulate or protect it on international waters. The, the markets. Mm. How do you operate? Do you also attack certain systems just to see if the system of your clients are vulnerable? We do have what we call like a red team, blue team type of exercise. So we simulate uh, an attacker, like a, that advanced attacker that would attack, like for example, financial institution and try to make a lot of movement, um, break in and uh, work with the malware. There is a shift from malware to a code. If you think through it, everything is about a code. It's the human talent and engineering that created the code, and it's a human talent engineering that actually hacks the code. So attackers are now, for example, embed themselves into HR application, like ISP page. And then any authentication going back and forth automatically is exposed. So not necessarily it's all about malware anymore. Mm -hmm. So um, the companies themselves, um, are they putting enough resources to protect the system? Financial sectors notoriously protects very well what they hold. When the vulnerability and weakness comes in are integrations, right? Because you have a top banks, intermediary banks, and smaller banks. And all those systems are interconnected. And that's what the attackers are really attacking. The attacker is not going to go through the main door to the bank to attack the bank. If you want to take the large bank, you have to look who they bank with. So you do your, yourself, have you um, changed your own habits, how you pay, um, after you see uh, where the tendency is going to? Well, the consumers are very well protected in the United States. It's the businesses they're going to suffer. I mean, cost of the business today, it means that you are exposed to a cyber crime. And now it's another component that you have to put on your uh, risk mitigation mm -hmm. panel. And you have to look through it. What really happened to you and how in cyber attack could amputate your business? Mm. Could you go out of the business? So uh, maybe finally, um, is there a certain season when um, uh, cyber attacks uh, are happening more often than at other times of the year? Of course there is a season. There is a pattern. I can tell you that because we, uh, we do experience high season uh, literally right after the uh, winter. And I tell everyone, cyber criminals, they knew vacation too. And when you have uh, four girlfriends, two cars, you need a lot of money to go on vacation. Right, so the right now is a peak season. And then for cyber criminals who uh, kind of can't fill the pockets right now, they still have to do some work over summer. It's like that bed grade at a school and you have to go back to school in the summer. And the same season picks it up uh, in the fall before the Christmas because in the Christmas you need some presents for your friends, relative, again, for girlfriends, car needs some maintenance. Right, so the season comes back in and then it comes down like in December, January. Mm. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.